Hello. Hello. I know it's been way too long. I hate it as well. Um, I am in the Wyoming. Uh, doing road trip with the mom. Doing road trip with the mom. Doing road trip with the mom. We had Pandemonious talk today. We had the talk today. The talk. Uh, I am at a park in kind of park. They're playing baseball over there. There's a pool behind me. Um, just Buffalo, Wyoming. So tomorrow, uh, the 9th is the new moon. 17 degrees Cancer. This is the, the new moon in Cancer. Uh, 17 days into Cancer season, we have the new moon. Uh, Mars and Venus are right next to each other, both in Leo. I looked, they're going to be chilling in Leo for a while, meaning um, our masculine and feminine centers are wanting to be holistic, are wanting to be seen, are wanting to shine, are wanting to be, to be, um, expressed. Uh, uh, Mercury is still in Gemini, and that is the duality. So, um, the duality of opposition. Hashtag femininity and masculinity. So, uh, we have a lot going on with this new moon in terms of envisioning in a loving way our potential for divine masculine and feminine expression envisioning in a mothering nurturing way how we can express ourselves in that moment so this new moon is saying um there wants to be a looking inward of your femininity. There wants to be looking inward of what it means for you to connect to mother nature, what it means for you to connect to earth, what it means for you to hashtag connect, hashtag listen. Listen to what masculine craves, listen to what femininity craves, listen to uh, uh, allow yourself to express the duality of tangibility. Okay? The world upside down, your world. Leo, your world will be understood a little bit more when you say, Hey, Moon, talk to me on the 9th. All of this is upside down. Upside down Empress, upside down the world, upside down Father of Pentacles. The facilitation of groundedness and the Hierophant. This is intense. This is intense healing. This is intense awareness. This is intense um spiritual guidance for those of you that watch this if you want to do a reading it'll be on me if you're craving a reading it'll be on me um because i know i need some spiritual guidance right now too and I crave connection. Here I am with my mother. We're talking about some serious shit. We're talking about the deep things. We're talking about things that have needed to be talked about for decades during the cancer season. With spirit, Leo, with the sun, the center of our universe, the center of our own universes, in the expression of duality, in the masculine and the feminine. That's where I'm at. And that's why I would love to connect with someone else. <laughs> because talking with other people helps me understand my own shit. The world upside down. The father of pentacles upside down. This is very Saturn. Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto are all in retrograde right now. A lot of our masculine centers, a lot of our, our, um, our rootedness is, is in retrograde, meaning reflect, revisit, redance with. This is, this is what, this is your, this is the full, this is the king of this cycle. 
This is the king of groundedness, the king of earth. So what does it mean for you to healthily, with love, hashtag cancer, in a grounded way, facilitate your coin, facilitate what it means for you to be rooted, for you to be earthly, in a completion, endings, cycle type of way, talk to someone, talk to yourself. The Hierophant upside down says, you don't need any, you don't need to meet with me. You don't need a reading with me because it's all internal. All, it, it's like, it goes like this. Listen to the moon to understand what cycle you're cycling with, to refine your groundedness and exalt your healer. Uranus is in Taurus. Uranus, intuition. Still in Taurus. Boop! This is the masculine expression of, of, of Taurus listen. Being tangible with what you sensualize. New Moon is also when we are the least connected to our visible moon. It's full feelings, full internal. There's big potential with this, with this internal moon if you allow yourself to listen to it. When it's full, it's directly, it's directly opposite of you. It's looking at you. It's saying, hey, I'm seeing you, you're seeing me, we are, we are, we are looking at each other. We are looking past each other. The new moon, she's right here. She's right here. The new moon is right here. The moon and the sun are both at 17 degrees. They are in alignment. Your moon messages are going to come from your core. Your moon messages are going to come from what you are meant to do right in here. Boop, brr, ba, ba. That is why it is so elusive. Oh, the wind is blowing, saying, let's blow towards bliss and harmony, and let's blow towards the cleansing of the container of which you communicate. Clean it out, blow it out. Air it, air. Get your, get your leaf blower. Ooh, the worst noise ever. Get your leaf blower. <laughs> blow the muck away from and out of the container of which you are trying to communicate. Blow the judgment out of the container of which you are communicate to reveal your bliss and harmony. To reveal what it means to be emotionally blissful and harmonious about your groundedness, about your cycles, about your femininity, and about your healing. How can you do this? Writing prompts, walking meditations, moving meditations, sitting meditations, hashtag meditation, period. Um, uh, journaling, singing, choose meditation on the ninth, slash leading up to the ninth. Choose meditation and ask yourself, how can I cleanse? How can I surround myself with harm harmony? How can I bliss myself out so that I can reach these big, 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 big things? And again, you're not choosing defiance. You're not choosing, um, what I mean by that is definites. You're not choosing things. You're only choosing the path. 
You're only saying, what is the road that takes me to grounded cycles within my femininity that lead me to healing? What is the path that puts me one step closer to healing my femininity in a cycled way that brings me closer to facilitating my groundedness? What is that road? Then you take the first step towards it. That's the new moon. She says, this is the path you take. This is not, this is not the end. This is the beginning, new moon beginning. So take this time to allow yourself to begin in a beautiful, beautiful way. Begin something. Because it's in cancer, mom, mom wants to be involved. Because it's cancer, your home, your mother wants to be involved. What did you learn from your mother? What did you, how are you being defiant around your mother? How are you, how are you acting like your mother? How are you actively not acting like your mother? What consciously, what conscious dialogue do you have regarding your mother and what subconscious dialogue do you have regarding your mother? Blissfully communicate to the energy of mother. One of the things that I said to Catherine and then Catherine said to me, which is rude, when you say something to someone in a moment of love and then they turn around and say it back at you when you're in a moment of boops. I was bugaboo about this trip. I was bugaboo, bugaboo, bugaboo about this trip. And Catherine said to me, a very wise person once said, if our mothers were good at mothering us, then we would never have the opportunity to mother ourselves. And I said, who said that? She said, you. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, that's so true. And I needed to hear it. If our mothers were good at mothering us, if our family was good at being a family to us, then we wouldn't create our own family. We wouldn't need to mother ourselves. Your mom did nothing wrong. whoever you deemed as mother. Your mom did exactly what contractually she was supposed to do so that you could be on the path to mother yourself. My mom's waiting for me at a, at a restaurant. We're eating at the Virginian Inn. <sighs> I'm currently writing, writing out, I'm typing out something um, that I'll post to the Patreon. <clears throat> Thank you for your patience. I don't want to leave. Okay, bye.